FBA meetup today in Chiang Mai, and people wanted to learn more about Amazuka. They wanted a demo of what our powerful Amazon software can do. And we like to call Amazuka Amazon on Autopilot. So here's what you can expect. When you sign into Amazuka, you'll see something like this. These are the products that you're tracking. These can be your, your own products, your competitors' products, or anyone that you want to monitor, BSRs, keywords, all the good stuff. So let's say you want to add a new product. We can just go to New Product. You'll need an ASIN number. Let's look at Amazon's top deals today. This looks pretty exciting. And we can be selling electric tankless water heaters in seconds. We take the ASIN number, paste it into Amazuka, choose your region, where do you guys sell? USA, UK, Europe, it doesn't matter. We cover them all. And I'd like to track some negative reviews. Add the product, and suddenly, voila, the product has been added. Now we can manage some keywords, add a couple of those if we want. How about we say water heater? Perfect. And maybe while we're at it, we'll do water heaters as well. And of course, water heaters electric. And as you can see, there's a suggestion engine based off of what you should be probably targeting for your keywords. So it might make sense to check these out. We're going to add all of these keywords. It only takes a second and we will come back to that. So also inside of here, you can see that it probably makes more sense to go back to a product with actual history if we want to check out some of the cool Amazuka features. So to do that, let's see things we're tracking. How about everybody's favorite silicon gloves? We've got Amazon sellers everywhere unloading them. You can see, we give you the listing, you can see what everything looks like on your listing to make sure there's no changes. Your product ha pick images haven't been changed randomly by Amazon. They like to do that sometimes and make sure everything's displaying smoothly. Then we'll hop into keywords and see what we're doing. Wow, we are not doing so hot on these. Our kitchen glove and kitchen gloves, two of the top silicon glove keywords aren't even ranking on the top 16 pages. We've got silicon glove and silicon gloves starting to get there, but we're actually losing rank and it doesn't even look like we're advertising. So this is an Amazuka exclusive. This is ad tracker. How ad tracker works? You want to run PPC campaigns for your keywords? You probably want to rank number one and get the most exposure. I know I do. That's the point. Well, ad tracker will make sure that of that by monitoring your rankings. Unfortunately, these is a bad example because these guys clearly don't care about winning. But if you want to win, you spend big on PPC, get the extra exposure, the extra sales, and boost those organic ranks up. So we have our keywords, but what if we want more keywords? So let's build off of our existing keyword base. We can generate a couple suggestions. We see silicon gloves, silicon gloves for cooking, silicon gloves heat resistant. All of these sound pretty good to me. I think I'd like to track these. To do that, I'll add them. And we could add them to the seed keywords and run through that again, or just add them to the keyword list. We'll just add these to the keyword list for now. And then go back into the product. So the next huge feature that Amazuka has is super URLs. Super URLs are essentially product giveaways on steroids. So when you do a product launch or whenever you're giving out links to your product, a super URL helps boost the effectiveness of this. So what it does is essentially trains Amazon on what you want to be ranked for. So we would like to be ranked for spatulas, but this is just the slug. It'll be mzook.com slash spatulas. Nice, easy to remember, and easy to share. But we get to choose any and all keywords that we want. For this, let's do some silicon gloves, some kitchen gloves, silicon glove, 
and how about kitchen golf? We'll say those are our big four. And typically it's best to go with the big ones because those are going to have the most volume. We've saved our super URLs and we can test those out here. And the super URL does not appear to have saved. That is interesting. The existing super URLs work, but it would appear as if I made a mistake in creating the new super URL. This is, in fact, a live video. Ah, no, that's what it is. We, they were kitchen gloves. I apologize. ADD is always effective when creating a great demo video. Ah, there we go. mzook.com slash spatulas. Clearly got confused over what we were targeting, but yet it shows the functionality. And it looks like we searched for kitchen gloves in Home and Kitchen. Or perhaps we searched for kitchen glove. You get the point. They're super URLs, so when customers add to cart, you get a little bit more of a boost in Amazon. So when we go back into Amazuka and we look at the products a bit more, you can see bestseller ranks. So these are very important to track over time to see how your product's performing relative to the competition and whether you're going up or down. And we all want to be going up. You can change or vary the dates on this based off of when your product went live. It looks like these guys haven't been selling very long, hence why they're selling silicon spatulas. So next we can look into the keyword rank graphs, and these are very similar. Also extremely useful though because these can show where your product has organically ranked. These guys are ranking terribly for the term spatula, but by knowing that they can focus their PPC and their keyword targeting with our super URL tool to focus on driving those higher if it's a sales driving keyword. And then negative reviews. So this monitors any reviews that you get below three stars. These are all reviews you want to address because they bring down your listing, they bring down the credibility, and they bring down the conversion percentage. So it's great to get updates on these so that you can look and see what the problems are and fix it. Additionally, reaching out to customers and actually asking them if they want their money back, if they want a refund, how they would improve the product, anything along those lines where you show some great customer support can a lot of times still earn you a fan for life or at least get your review altered a little bit. So now let's look into email reports. Email reports are a powerful tool if you don't want to check Amazuka every day, but you need to know where your keywords are at, you want updates. So let's run a new report, and we will send this from Amazuka, just so you know who it's coming from. The from email can be matt with amazuka.com, and the to email will also be matt at amazuka.com. Yeah, I'm sending an email to myself. And how often do I want to get updates on these keywords? Do I want it never? That would make no sense. Daily, weekly, or monthly? I think I will take weekly, just to be on a, a little bit less aggressive side. Now, keywords. Let's go with our silicon spatulas. I think I'd like to track spatula, silicon spatulas, silicon spatulas. Oh, that's in there twice. We'll have to edit that. This is the beta. Uh, cooking spatula and chef spatula and those will make me happy. Now let's get into the preview mode and voila this is the email that you will receive in your inbox every single week hopefully with slightly better rankings and showing your products moving up there. We'll come back to this. So lastly, let's talk about our review club. Let's say that you are launching a product and you need to get some reviews. Or you just had a bad review. Or you just want to boost your BSR. Whatever the reason is, it's awesome to get more reviews. That's what the review club's here for. And we want silicon spatula reviews today. You need to leave a note to the buyer telling them 
to add a disclaimer in their review that they got this product in exchange for an honest, verified, ethical review. This keeps everything on your end within the Amazon Terms of Service and maximizes the chances that the reviews will last and not be taken away by Amazon. So you can type that in here as you like. A discount. We'll run this at $33 off. Final price of $1.99. And we want to have a start and end date. So this is the date you, that your review club listing will go live. Our mass of reviewers will see it. They'll have access to it and they will start eating up your vouchers. So make sure you choose a date where the product's actually in stock and where it matters to have a big, big push. So I, let's say my new product will be in on Thursday and I wanna blast it out there for the first four days. We'll go from Thursday to Monday. We wanna crush it, so we add a couple of tags so that people know what it's about. Maybe kitchen, spatula, could add silicon because all FBAers seem to like silicon. And you understand about protecting your inventory, which comes down to the vouchers. You always want to use multiple one-time use codes, not single vouchers. A single voucher is like saying a 10% off coupon or something that applies to everyone. And that essentially means that you can get wiped out. Just don't do it. We've got videos, multiple one-time use codes. Paste those in there. I'm not going to paste any in because this is just a dummy and we don't actually want reviewers eating up silicon spatulas we don't have to give them. Got questions? Looking to get advice from other Amazon sellers? We've got a forum for that. Our Amazuka forum's growing right now. It's not enormous, but it's getting more and more active as hundreds more people have joined the platform within the last several days, which means we're stoked and we want to help you guys sell more products. So we've got a knowledge base. The knowledge base helps you walk through Amazuka and any challenges that you're having. You can essentially search for anything. Most everything's here. We've got great little stuff on product optimization, SEO, improving your titles, improving your images, everything that it takes to crush it with Amazon. And of course, there's the Amazuka Amazon on Autopilot podcast. That's me and Russ. Just shooting the shit on Amazon. We talk about how to private label a product, how to find great products, challenges that we've had. Russ has a Harry Potter accented voice, which makes everything amazing. I recommend you check out the podcast if you're looking to learn a little bit more about FBA and how to dominate with Amazon. But either way, this has been more or less the demo of Amazuka, and I promise to show you guys those keywords that were loading a little slowly earlier, my internet has been a bit shabby. But when we come back, we will see that, in fact, our keywords are here, and this product is crushing it. Hence why Amazon's featuring it. So let's get you guys to crushing it. What do you say? Give it a spin. Amazuka.com. And you can sign up for a free 14-day trial today to start tracking and improving your Amazon business. Cheers.